Hello, my dear creative, and welcome to the final day of my perspective drawing series. Today, we will be drawing a cylinder in perspective. All you'll need in terms of the materials is, as always, a pencil, a piece of paper. You might also want to grab a ruler and an eraser. Let's quickly recap what we've learned from day two. Day two was about drawing ellipses. Day one was about perspective drawing basics, two-point perspective and one-point perspective. Today we will dive deeper into perspective drawing for interior design. Maybe you are studying interior design right now, or maybe you are a seasoned professional interior designer. Maybe you are someone who would love to become an interior sketch artist. You really want to master interior sketching for that to win the best interior design projects. So welcome to day three. Please draw along with me to understand all these basics in a really deep way. Let's draw a circle with the guidelines. So I put the center point, I draw a vertical axis, a horizontal axis, and then around it, we want to draw a square. You will shortly see why we do all this. You can use a ruler in order to make everything look a bit more straight because I already can see that, for example, this horizontal line it definitely needs some modification to make it actually horizontal and parallel to the top line and the bottom line. So now that looks better. Let's erase unnecessary lines. And through this center point, the last thing that we will do, uh, we draw two diagonals. Basically, all that gives us some extra guidelines. So let's indicate those intersections of the circle with those uh, diagonals. And I will mark those major points. Look, if we divide this part into three equal parts, as well as if we take this segment, we will see that one third uh, is this point of the circle, where the circle intersects this diagonal. It will really help us when we draw it in perspective. Let's now mark those points from one to eight. And after that, we will draw this circle in perspective and you will see how much all those guidelines and diagonal lines and these marks will help us to understand how this circle will look in perspective. So I locate the vanishing point. I draw two lines starting from this vanishing point and we locate this square. We measure now everything by eye. We don't use any mathematical formulas to show this square in perspective, though there are mathematical formulas to show the square exactly how it will look like in perspective. So everything is by eye here to um, show you the basic principles. So we draw this center point, these diagonal lines which form the center point, this vertical and horizontal axis, and here are our four major points, top, bottom, left, right. And now, as we remember, we did one third, approximately one third of each segment of this diagonal. Uh, we take it and we locate our additional guiding points, like on our main circle, it's two, four, uh, six, and eight. And the next task is simply to connect those dots. We can do it quite accurately by drawing those curves uh, starting from each point. And this gives us this beautiful circle in perspective. Of course, when your hand will become more trained with the ellipses, you'll be able to draw them just by hand without any guidelines, without those marks. But this method really helps, especially the beginners, to start with ellipses. And now the most interesting part begins where we will draw a cylinder in a room. So we will combine our knowledge from day one, day two, and day three. 
So remember day one, we have a frontal wall, this rectangular and the horizon line. I locate it very close to the top. This way we can see the cylinder openings of its ellipses better. Then I locate the vanishing point closer to the left vertical line and starting from the vanishing point, I draw four lines through these four corners of the wall. Next, we draw two lines to indicate the basement of the cylinder on the floor of the room. Again, here we are drawing everything by eye. I give detailed grid and measurement in my online course on perspective drawing for interior design. So there you know exactly how to draw to scale, how to draw with exact dimensions. Here with this series, I want them to be relatively short, under 15 minutes. So here we are drawing first a box. So let's imagine that we've ordered a lovely design uh, table, a round table, and it, it, it has just arrived in the box from the furniture store. Again, please refer to day one lesson one if uh, you haven't watched it yet because there we are drawing all those boxes in one point perspective if you are using a ruler of course your lines will be more precise i personally really love to draw without any rulers i believe it really um, greatly train my hand this is i see it as a Perfect exercise to train my hand. By the way, if you haven't watched my most popular video here on YouTube, uh, it's about top exercises on how to train your hand. Check it out. I will leave it in the description. Wonderful. Now let's check what we've already learned here. And by the way, you probably noticed that I intentionally actually uh, located this box. I plan to locate this cylinder to the right hand side of the vanishing point uh, in order to train our uh, brain even more on perspective. Even though with this exercise you can see I did this uh, circle in perspective to the left according to the vanishing point. So the same thing, diagonals, guidelines, vertical and horizontal, and then we are locating those uh, points, one third of each quadrant. And this way we can beautifully draw in this ellipse, this circle in perspective. The foundation is done, congratulations. And I started with the bottom ellipse because it's easier, a little bit easier to draw it. Why? Because it's opening a bit more, because it's further away from the horizon line. Now let's do the same thing, two diagonals, vertical guideline which runs to the vanishing point and the horizontal one, those four major guide points, and then we divide each segment of these quadrants into thirds and we take the outer third, the third which is closer to the corner. And this way we can draw in this beautiful ellipse by using all these guidelines. And we are almost done. The very last thing is to draw two vertical lines which connect the outer points so we finish this uh, geometric form. So we draw this vertical line by connecting two points and connect these two points. After that, we can erase all the necessary lines. I can add some hatching. So basically this cylinder, it could be anything. It could be a table, for example, in a room, <laughs> a chair, right? Of course, if we draw with different scale, uh, slightly smaller for a chair. Here you can see one of my interior sketches uh, that I did using this knowledge. So you can see this table in the center. Basically, it's a cylinder. This beautiful chandelier that consists of these circles, which look like uh, ellipses in perspective. This is what you will be able to achieve when mastering perspective drawing. So are you ready to take your interior design career to new heights? Maybe you want to become an interior sketch artist? 
If you are aiming for top tier projects, premium clients, and the ability to command higher rates, mastering interior design sketching is your golden ticket. I'm introducing today my transformative online course, Perspective Drawing for Interior Design. Learn in the most efficient way from someone who has actually done it. With my guidance, you will fast track your sketching skills the right way, ensuring efficient learning and tangible results. Experience the convenience of step-by-step -step online instructions tailored to your schedule. Don't just take my word for it. See the reviews from idea creatives who've already enrolled. So if you want to win bad interior design projects, you want to master interior sketching. Enroll today and start winning the projects you deserve. Check out the links in the description box. This ends my three-day perspective drawing series. Let's celebrate it. Let's wrap up this series by taking a look one more time of what we've learned. So remember, day one was about perspective drawing basics. Day two was about drawing circle in perspective. We were drawing ellipses. And today in day three, we've combined this knowledge and did a cylinder in perspective. As always, like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment, and thank you for watching this series.